back with another vlog. Tonight we have got a little uh, photo shoot with three of my mates. We got uh, Issa Team Jacob, Paul with his wide body STI, and Tommy with his 900 horsepower Evo 3. So Tommy is on his way to come grab me now because I still have no license. And also my golf uh, is in the shop getting some repairs done. Don't even want to talk about it to be honest. <laughs> Turbo being sent away to be fixed. Don't talk to me about it. 350Z is still being parted out, so I don't have that. I have no car at the moment. I've been at home for like a week, uh, getting some Ubers around and shit, but yeah, good fun. Anyway, Tommy is on his way to pick me up right now. In fact, I think I hear him outside. So I'm just getting my gear packed up. Uh, pretty simple setup tonight. Just got the A7 III. We got our 24mm 1.4 lens. This is really good for nighttime. Got my 28 75 2.8. We got our LED bar for some fill light or light painting if we do some. And just a tripod. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple bit of kit. It's more of a, just a casual shoot. We want to go into the city. It's been a long time since I did uh, some night photography. So we're just going to cruise around the city, go to a few spots, hang out with the boys, and have a fun time. So let's go. This um, spot that I've never been to before actually, this little underground car park, it looks real cool, real grungy. So we'll get a few shots here of each car and then we might get some group shots as well. <laughs> a few days after the shoot I'm just editing this vlog and it turned out a little short so what I thought I would do is I actually recorded the entire editing process of this one so what I'm gonna do is walk you guys through sort of my thought process while I'm doing the edit just do a voiceover I'll check my face in the corner of the screen and um, yeah we can just go through sort of why I'm doing certain things Basically, we ended up only going to that one spot in the video because we were running short on time. It was just sort of a casual little shoot, but we got some sick images out of it. I'm really stoked with how they came out. So thanks to Jacob, who owns the Blue Sylvia, who showed me that spot. Go follow him on Instagram and Paul and Tommy with the Subi and the Evo. But yeah, uh, basically we were at that spot for like an hour or so. 
Got heaps of images of everyone's cars. You know, the lighting stayed the exact same because it was like an underground car park. So what I did is I chose the white balance on the camera. I just kept that white balance the whole time so that when I came home, I could just really get the colors perfect on one photo and then pretty much sync that edit to the rest of the photo. So that's what I'm doing in the first bit of the speed edit here is just spending, I think it took about 30 or 40 minutes to get the colors really perfect for this one shot tones, that sort of thing. So we'll go through that. I'll talk about why I did each thing. And yeah, enjoy. So basically I started out here just mucking around with the shadows, the highlights. I wanted quite a dark, grungy look. So you can see I'm playing with the colors. I knew from the start I didn't want much yellow in the image. The car park was actually quite yellow because the lights above were, were yellow. So I took out all the yellow saturation, took out uh, most of the oranges, sharpened it, put in a lot of noise reduction, made sure that I was only sharpening the car and not the background because I was shooting quite wide. This was using my 24mm 1.4. Um, I wanted, even though I was shooting at f2 I believe, uh, you know, I didn't really want the roof and the ground um, on the car in focus, so I used a mask, made sure that it was just the car in focus, and then with my split toning, I had them both go to blue. So I wanted the, I wanted it to be a really like nighttime, blue, cold sort of feel. So both my split tone, the highlights and the shadows are actually going to blue, which I pretty much never do. I don't think I've ever done that before, but it came out. The final product looks sick. Super happy with how it came out. I uh, did my best to make it look sort of dark and grungy. <clears throat> The lights overhead were actually really, really bright, so it was quite difficult. Uh, what I ended up doing <coughs> with these masks is upping the shadows just on the car, and then I used that mask on the right uh, for the light. I reduced the clarity by a lot to make it look kind of foggy and misty in there, because the lights were really harsh. enjoyed that one a uh, bit more of a behind the scenes look at my editing just a chill nice little vlog for that uh, little night shoot there so this is going up on Friday evening we got a few sick shoots this weekend which I am going to vlog so yeah more behind the scenes photo shoots coming soon hope you guys enjoyed if you're not already subscribed subscribe down below yeah if you made it to the end of the video leave a comment down below and let me know um, you know that you made it to the end and yeah have a great weekend guys and I'll see you next time